good morning dear students welcome to our class today we are going to discuss about chapter 2 northern mountains here we can see the northern mountains give color as it is brownish color that area shows himalayas on the northern edge of the indian subcontinent lie the himalayas the highest mountain ranges in the world these mountains are covered with snow throughout the year the himalayas extend from jammu and kashmir in the north to arunachal pradesh in the east it is forming an arc the himalayas are wider in kashmir and get now narrower towards the east in the northeast these mountains are much lower in height naga garo and kashi hills are part of these ranges these eastern mountains are also called purvanchal mountains naga comes in nagaland garo and kashi comes in meghalaya the himalayan ranges cover the states of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand parts of uttar pradesh west bengal sikkim and the seven north eastern states of assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura the important mountains comes located in india is k2 that comes in jammu kashmir kanchenjunga in sikkim and nanda devi comes in uttarakhand these are the important peaks located in india the highest peak in the world mount everest comes in nepal it is 8848 meters high from sea level the chintri pal was the first indian woman to climb mount everest in 1984 the himalayas have three ranges running parallel to each other they are himadri or the greater himalayas himachal or the middle himalayas shivalik hills or the outer himalayas all the highest peaks are located in this northern most range or himadri region there is no plant life in this region because of the extremely cold climate these peaks are permanently covered with snow sometimes blocks of ice move slowly down the mountains these are called glaciers as they move into the warmer regions the glaciers start to melt and the water flows down as rivers the ganga and yamuna rivers start from the glaciers gangotri and yamunotri rivers such as brahmaputra satluj and indus are also formed by the melting snow middle himalayas or the himachal to the south of the himadri ranges are the himachal ranges beautiful hill stations such as srinagar huzuri shimla Dharmashala, Dalhousie, Kullu, Manali, Nainital and Darjeeling are situated in these ranges. People visit these hill stations during the summer months to escape the heat of the plains. The Himachal ranges have beautiful valleys. Mm. Valleys are low areas surrounded by hills or mountains. orchards growing pears plums and apples are common in these valleys the mountains of the himachal ranges are covered with forests pine fir and oak grown in the slopes of these mountains to the south of the himachal range 
lies the Shivalik range. In this region, the hills are covered with forests that are home to wild animals. People living on these hills practice terrace farming. Near rare cattle and cultivate orchids. At the foothills of the Shivalik ranges lie the Terai region. Here the land is flat. This area receives heavy rainfall. The Himalayas are very important to us. These high mountains act like a huge wall to the northern border of India. They protect us from the cold winds of the north. The forests in the Himalayas are home to many animals. Among them are snow leopards, wild yaks, elephants, tigers, rhinoceros, and deer. Shivaliks are the lowest mountains in the Himalayas. Many important rivers originate in the Himalayas. They provide water for irrigation and other needs. Rivers bring down silt with them, make the northern plains fertile occupation is the main uh, occupation is agriculture terrace farming is practiced on the mountain slopes fruits are grown here in large orchards fish farming sheep rearing and poultry are some other important occupations new words and its meaning Mountain ranges, long rows of mountains, glaciers, large masses of ice that move very slowly. Valley, a low area between hills or mountains, often with river flowing through it. In text questions, who was the first Indian woman to climb Mount Everest? Second question, which all states are covered by Himalayan ranges? Third question, India, the Himalayas extend from bird to bird. Why is there no plant life in the Himadri region? Name three occupations of the people living in the Himalayan region. So the answer for the first question, the Chendri Pal. While you are writing the answer, you should write in sentence. That Sentripa was the first Indian woman to climb Mount Everest. Which all states are covered by the Himalayan ranges? The Himalayan ranges covers the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, parts of Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Sikkim, and the seven northeastern states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Tripura. The India, the Himalayas extend from bird to bird. In India, the Himalayas extend from Jammu and Kashmir in the north to Arunachal Pradesh in the east. Why is there no plant life in the Himadri region? The Himadri, there is no plant life in the region because of the extremely cold climate. Name three occupations of the people living in the Himalayan region. Farming, fish farming, sheep rearing, and poultry farming. Activity from this lesson. Find out more about Mount Everest. Can the ice on the Himalayas ever melt? Find out how pollution is affecting the Himalayan ice. Find out your own answers. Thank you. See you next class. Read the lesson very well and study well. All the best all of you. Thank you.